Hi everyone and welcome back to how to create an animated comic book intro. In this lesson we'll add a camera to our animation to make it more exciting and dynamic. Let's go ahead and start by selecting all of our layers apart from the background layer. So just press control on the keyboard to select both of these. And then we want to click on the cube icon here, just below the cube icon here, to make these layers into 3D layers. Now this means that we can now manipulate them in the 3D space. So let's select the logo comp here and press P on the keyboard like so to open up our position menu. And in the last value here, we want to enter a value of minus 500, bringing it forward to create some depth in our animation. Now you'll, if we move forwards in our timeline here, we'll be able to see the change a little bit more clearly. So let's see that again. So at zero, this is what our animation looked like before. And if we move here, like so, you can see how our logo is moving forwards and backwards into 3D space. So let's go ahead and enter that value again. So minus 500 to bring our logo forward like so. And now let's go ahead and make our logo appear smaller again as how it was by going into the transform menu here. And instead of entering a value for position, we want to go ahead and change the scale. So instead of 100%, instead of let's enter a value of 75% just to make it appear slightly smaller, which is closer to the size that we had before. Now we want to add a camera to our composition. To do this, go to Layer, New, and select Camera. We're going to use the default presets for our camera and then click OK. And you'll see straight away we've got this new camera layer added to our composition. With it selected, press P on the keyboard to open up our position menu. Let's scroll all the way back to the beginning of our timeline. And from here, let's go ahead and click on this keyframe icon here to, to create a new keyframe. And we want to add a value here of minus 600 for the last value. Now you'll see straight away that it's affected our animation. We've zoomed right into our image here. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way forward to about 10 seconds in our animation. And in our last value here, let's make a value of minus 1200 to zoom a little bit back out. Awesome. Now, if we scroll back and forth in our timeline, you'll see that we've created this cool zoom out effect for our animation. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and open up the rest of the transform options for our camera and make a keyframe for the rotation at the beginning of our timeline. So let's make sure we select the right rotation. So we want to rotate our image in the Z axis here like so. So let's go to the beginning of our timeline, create a new keyframe for the Z rotation. And we want to change the value here to about plus 30, like so. Now let's move forwards to the timeline to about six seconds, like so. And then we want to change the value here back to zero. Awesome. Now, if we scroll back and forth in our timeline, you'll see that we've created this nice rotation effect to go with our zoom animation. Excellent. Now let's click on the play preview button here to play it one more time to see if we need to make any new last minute adjustments to our animation. Great. So that's it for this tutorial. Have fun creating your own animated comic book intros and I'll see you next time.